How can we create a combo chart in Excel? So this is what you're going to see in today's video step by step. And a combo chart is a really good way to go to analyze and to look at if there is a correlation between values. For example, in this chart right here, I can see the growth of three different plantations that I have from January to December. And of course, I can also see the rain in this period. So that way I can see if there is a correlation between the how much it's rain and how much my vegetation is growing, for example. So a combo chart in Excel is a chart that can really help you out to find and to look at correlation between values and of course to compare information, compare data. So let's find out how can you build this combo chart in your Excel step by step from scratch or any other combo chart in Excel that you need to build. We're gonna see here step by step, okay? So let's find it out, let's go. A data set is the first thing that we need to build any type of chart in Excel. And from our data set, we can build the chart. And the benefit that you use a chart in Excel over a data set is because a chart we can analyze in a much more easier way. And we can also see if there's a correlation between one value and another. So here, in my data set, I have the harvest in kilos in each site. I have in the first column here the date, January to December, and then I have here three columns about my site, site one, two, and three, where I have my plantation, my plantation growth, and how much I just harvest in kilos. And then in the last column, I have the rain in millimeters. So here I want you to see if there's a correlation between the rain in millimeters and the growth of my three sites. Of course, I can do it uh, just to analyze the numbers itself, the values, but if I just build the chart from this data here, it's a much more easier way to analyze from the chart and from the data set itself. Okay, a chart can really help us here in Excel to analyze data and to see if there's a correlation between two values in this case here in this situation, the growth and the rain. There is a correlation or not? This is what I, I need to find. So the first thing that, that I want to start here is to click here in any blank cell, okay, that I have. And then I go to the insert tab and I'm going to select here the chart that I'm going to use. I'm going to start here with the first chart, insert column chart, uh, this first option here. And then from, we need to take, we need to pick the data that we have here in the data set and insert here in the chart. But it's pretty much easy. I just need to right click here in the chart and then I can go to select data. And with this new window that is just going to appear here for me, I can first thing, entries, series, I can click here in the add. And here is going to be basically our categories. So for example, I have here the site one, two, and three, and the rain. This is the values that I want to analyze, okay? This is the categories, basically. So I want you to take all these informations and insert in my chart. So this is what you're going to do. And I'm going to start here with the site number one. For my series name here, I can either type it in manually or I can, of course, select here the cell that contains the site one. Uh, and then in the, site, in the series value, I can just click here in this upper arrow and select all the values that make up my site one column. Down arrow, OK. And as you guys already can see here in the chart, it's already displayed to me all the values uh, from the site one. Now I can add here the site two and select here the name. I can select the values, our arrow, okay. I can do it again to add here the site three, select all the values. And then I'm gonna do it one more time, but now for the rain. And then I'm gonna select all the values here that make up the rain column. Okay, and okay again. And instead of it just showing here numbers, sequential numbers like one, two, three, four, and so on, I can instead use the months. So January, February, March, April, and so on. So here in my horizontal category axis labels, I'm going to click here in edit and I'm going to select here January to December, for example. Now I can click here. OK. OK again. Basically, our chart is done here, but I don't know which, let's say, category with this blue column here represent, this orange one represent, this gray one, and this yellow one. So I know that I have a bunch of categories for each one of the months that I have, a bunch of the values, but I don't know which column that here does correspond for what. So maybe it's a good idea to just insert here the legend to display, oh, the blue, the blue column here represents, let's say, the site one, the orange represents the site two, the yellow represents the rain. So let me just click here in the chart. And then chart design here to the left at chart element. I'm going to select this option here, legend, and I'm going to stick with this last option here, bottom. Okay. Now, as you guys can see, we already insert here the legend. And I know now that my rain is the yellow one. My site one, two, and three is the blue, orange, and gray in this respective order. So one more thing that we can do here, instead of using, let's say the rain, as a column chart, I can change it and use it like a line. So it's much more easier to analyze and to see if there's a correlation between these two values, the sites and the rain. So to make sure it's possible, I can just right click in the chart and then I go to change chart type. And here in the last option, I have the combo chart option. I'm going to select it and I'm going to stick with the site one, two and three as a cluster column chart. So let me just adjust here the site three for the first option that I have here. Okay. 
and the range, I'm going to stick with the line option, like this, for example. And one more thing, we can use a secondary axis here. So let me just allow here a secondary axis. Now I can click here and OK. And we basically done. Now it's pretty much easy to see uh, the correlation between the values. And yes, as you guys can see here, there is a correlation. So for example, in the months that just rain the most, as you guys can see here, for example, we have the lowest harvest, for example. And in the months that just do not almost rain at all, we have here the, the largest harvest. So yes, there is a correlation. So the more it's rain, the less I just have for a harvest, the, the less growth I have in my plantation. And the, the less it's rain, the more I have growth, the more I have harvest in kilos here in my plantation. So yeah, there is a correlation. So one more thing that we can do here is just adjust the design and the layout of the chart. So for example, Instead of using a yellow line for the rain, I can change it and use a blue line, for example. So I can double click here in the line and I can click here in this first option, fill a line. I'm going to use a solid line that is equal to a blue one, for example. Oh, of course, I can use a gradient color to make it a little bit more pleasant to look at. I can select here this last option and then I'm going to use a radial one. Yes, I think it's good. And I can increase a little bit here the width of the line. So I'm going to stick with three, for example. and Instead of using, a, let's say, a sharp corners, I can use a smooth one, a smoothed line, okay, like this. And now, instead of using this blue color here in the first column, and I use, I'm gonna use, let's say, here, a solid fill, a yellow one, for example. Okay, I think it's good. Or, of course, I can change it to gradient fill. I can use here uh, a yellow one. And here, for this orange, I can change to, so I can use, uh, let's say, gradient orange. And this gray color here, I can, can use, of course, a gradient gray too. That way I can view the chart that is much more modern and beautiful, you know? So I can close here now. And yeah, we're basically done with our chart, with our combo chart. And as I said in the beginning of the video, a combo chart is a good chart to see and find the correlation between two values or more. So I hope you guys, this video can help you out. And if you have any questions and suggestions to the next video, just comment down below, let me know. And I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.